Hi everyone, just a quick overview of my CNC lathe progress at the moment. Um, I sometimes like making build videos just to give people an idea of what Linux CNC can actually do. Um, yeah, so currently this is the lathe as it stands in the shed. Um, I have got down on the floor in front of us um, my new Chinese servo drives. There we are, 2.6 kilowatts. The old ones were 1 kilowatt, so I think they should have plenty of power. Then up here, I've hacked up my control box off the old Nakamura um, Fanuc lathe. So I've got Axis or Linux CNC currently just sitting here. Um, up under here, um, I've got a 7i84. These are great. So uh, all you need to get a whole uh, 32 inputs and like 48 I/O. All you need is um, 24 volts coming down a single cable and one Ethernet cable. It's amazing. Um, these are yeah, I highly recommend these. So anyway, just looking in here. Zoom in a bit. So that's the 7i84. That's going to run my MPGs for pulse uh, for manual moving here, and the, under the screen here in the front of the um, where that keyboard is currently, there's going to be a whole bunch of buttons, and I'm going to laser cut or maybe uh, if we spin around here, I might machine something on the CNC mill possibly for a bit of a control panel. Um, down here, I've currently just got my e-stop sitting right here. So basically, if we uh, push the e-stop, yeah beauty. Not sure if you guys saw that, I'll show you the words down the bottom. So it's out of e-stop at the moment, and it's in e-stop. Um, just come around the back of the machine. So more of the machine here. kind of stuck against the wall a little bit so I'll just sit back as far as I can and uh, just kind of go through it so you can see my Chinese servo drives um, I've got one 7i76 simply because I needed the isolated spindle control um, and I had it so I'll probably change that um, Got a 7i77 which will be used for analog control of my servo drives. I haven't done that before so this is going to be a, a new exciting progress. Um, that blue cable powers the 7i84 with the control power. And uh, I was doing some testing. I couldn't get my 7i84 Mesa card working and I had two of them so I did some testing on the back here with a short cable to double check it wasn't the cable problem. Um, down here um, just got my 24 volt and 5 volt power supplies uh, straight from China. Uh, a couple of wall mounts for powering the screen and the computer. And the original Fanuc Velocity Drive which I'm still using. And big transformers and motors and yeah you got the drift. So um, anyway, that's the current progress. Uh, I will be back with more videos shortly.